The species of invertebrates that roam around during the day and night changes with each season. To find out which season specific creepy crawlies prefer, I went bug hunting throughout every season. The invertebrates featured in this video are just some of the animals that I was able to find during the nights of autumn in Lake Boga, Victoria, Australia. The golden orb weaver's web shines like gold in sunlight, hence their name. Their breeding season is from February to May and females are distinctively larger than males. They target many different organisms as prey, ranging from small flies to beetles to larger cicadas and locusts. As a result of their strong web structure, small birds and bats can also become trapped and fed upon. In 2012, a large female was actually videoed killing and consuming a brown tree snake in Queensland. Portuguese millipedes hatch from eggs that are laid in the soil and initially have only three pairs of legs. They molt as they grow, adding segments and legs with each molt and reach maturity at around two years of age. Adult males are periodomorphic, alternating between a sexual and a non-sexual form. In their sexual form, they have gonopods, which are mating legs in the seventh body segment. They lose these gonopods during the spring. Greenhouse millipedes are thought to be native to Japan, but have been introduced globally. The dorsal section of each segment has a transverse groove, which makes them easier to distinguish from the Portuguese millipede. roly polies are probably the slowest moving species of isopod that I've seen in Australia. Unlike Pusalianides prognosis, who rely on their speed to get away from danger, roly polies rely on their ability to roll up into a ball. Although their diet consists mainly of decaying wood and leaf litter, according to the isopods in my veggie patch, chives are also on the menu. Out of all the invertebrates in the world, these guys probably have the weirdest common names of them all. Some of these questionable names include cheesy bugs, butchie boys, boat builders, slaters, wood pigs, monkey peas, potato bugs, cell bugs, and crunchy bats. The wandering ring-tailed damselfly is found across eastern Australia, where it inhabits slow and still water. The males are light blue and black, while the females tend to be more brown. Social huntsmen are social creatures, living in colonies that can have up to 300 individuals. Even though they are friendly towards their own colony members, they are extremely aggressive towards individuals outside of their own colony and will often cannibalise unrelated spiders. They are timid towards humans and bites are infrequent, and when they occur, symptoms are usually very minor. The brown-banded cockroach is considered a small species of cockroach, reaching between 10 to 14 millimetres long. The male has wings that cover the abdomen, while the female has smaller, flightless wings. They require less moisture than the German cockroach and thrive in environments with a temperature between 25 and 33 degrees Celsius. Despite its name, the Australian cockroach is actually an introduced species. Australian cockroaches take about a year to grow from egg to adult and will live a further four to six months once reaching adulthood. This species needs warm temperatures to survive and often move indoors when temperatures become too cold outside. Cornuospersum are hermaphrodites and can either reproduce sexually or asexually. In a year, they typically have around six batches of eggs and each batch will average around 80 eggs. The shell of Cornuospersum is almost always right coiled but exceptional left-coiled specimens are also known, which is considered to be a one-in-a-million phenomenon. During the many years of breeding these snails in captivity, I was very lucky to obtain four of these rare snails, and later on was able to work with Angus Davidson to share data for his report on the origin of mirror image snails.